Hello, what's up? YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and I try. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best way to edit or retouch faster in Photoshop. And these tricks that I'm about to share with you, I use them and I've always tried them in most of my workflow in Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you learn a thing or two from this tutorial, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so this is the image that we're going to be using for this case and demonstrating this way of retouching or editing faster within photoshop so right now what we want to do or understand usually when you want to edit faster you want shortcuts that are going to enable you edit faster in your workflow or in photoshop so those shortcuts usually involve for example creating these layers and as you know most of the time I use frequency separation to edit or retouch images in Photoshop. So what I tend to do, I use actions because you don't want to go through all the process of creating these layers. Then you come in, you come right here to layer one. Then you come to filter blur, come to gush, come blur and blur the skin details. So usually, what I tend to do when it comes to making this faster, I simply come and use actions. So the very first thing that you have to take into consideration is using actions to fasten or speed up the process within Photoshop. And if at all you're interested in purchasing my actions, I have the link in the description of this video. So by just selecting the action after importing it, just come and simply... So if at all you, you have purchased my actions, simply double click on the actions and they're going to be imported right into Photoshop. Or you can simply come right here and click right there then you come to load actions and you'll have to load them after unzipping them into your photoshop so for this case i'm just going to select 16 bit because i'm working on a 16 bit image and you can see within a few seconds i have just played that i'm just going to use a radius of around seven so you have to adjust that around the radius for your favorite image and stop at the point when the text has just starting to get lost and simply hit ok and just look at how swift this is so it has already automatically created for me the layers within all the layers of my frequency separation so that is the very first thing that you have to take into consideration so if at all you're done and you have the actions right now you want a faster workflow and you're trying to edit your images so Usually when you're editing, we want first of all get whichever tool that you want to use to retouch images. So for this case, I'm just going to come and select my mixer brush tool. And assuming that you know how to set up the mixer brush tool, this is the other technique that I want to share with you guys. So if at all you want to retouch or edit faster when it comes to Photoshop, simply come and hide the texture layer. So by doing that, you can see that you can now look at, at the colors very well and you can notice or identify the uneven skin tone inconsistencies within the image unlike when you have left the texture layer turned on it is a little bit confusing and you have to guess where to find the uneven skin tone transition so make sure you turn off the texture or high frequency layer and with the low frequency la layer selected so the other thing that you have to take into consideration so that is more like tip number two. Tip number two is retouching with the texture layer hidden or turned off. And you select the low frequency layer. So when you're using the Mr. Brush tool, as you're blending the skin tone transitions, always make sure to retouch at a distance. So that is more like tip number three. So retouch at a distance. So let me show you this. So if at all, I'm to use Ctrl Command Plus on the keyboard and I zoom all the way in. So just look at this area right below here below the eye bag right here just look at this area you have to guess where the highlights are transitioning to the midtones but if at all you are looking at the image from a distance right here you can see every skin tone inconsistence and you can now just come and blend those areas just look at the file you can see this area right here has uneven skin tone transitions but if at all you zoom all the way in, it is going to be a little bit hard for you to guess that area. So always retouch at a distance because this is going to enable you cover a wider area within a short period of time. So always retouch at a distance. Let me show you a quick 
retouch on the forehead area just like this so by just taking just a few strokes of the mixer brush tool and by using the technique of retouching at a distance you can see that i am able to cover just that area with just a few seconds or just a few strokes of a brush but if at all i want to work when i'm zoomed all the way in just look at what i've just done right there so that's the before after before after but if at all i am to work when i'm zoomed all the way in it means i'm going to have to paint more on this area trying to blend it into the skin meaning i'll, I'll have to take so much time trying to work on the image so that is more like i think is tip number four and lastly what i would call tip number five if at all you want to edit or retouch faster your images always make sure to use lats or presets that are going to enable you really color grade faster so for example i have my gradient skin tone lat pack that works for every skin tone complexion for your model so i'm just going to come and i simply set a gradient map and just click right there and just come and look for this so you can choose whichever color you want to use to color grid just click on that simply hit ok and come to normal and change it to soft light and just come to the opacity and simply drop down the opacity to the one of my liking and you can see the before and after for just using that gradient preset pack so if i told you to change that color i'm just going to come and open up this and choose any other color that i want to apply to the skin tone you can see that these work very nice and effectively so that's the before after before after so these are the tricks that i tend to use in order to retouch or edit faster and quicker in photoshop and if i told you i've learned something new from this tutorial don't forget to like this, this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Ronix photography Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.